Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're diving into the latest version of Family Tree Maker 2024, you might be excited about the new features, but a little frustrated if you've run into loading issues. In today's video, I'll share a problem I ran into after upgrading from FTM 2019 to 2024, how I solved it, and how you can too, especially if your tree is getting stuck or freezing during startup. Let's get into it. After installing Family Tree Maker 2024, I loaded up my main tree, about 150 megabytes in size, so not unusually large. Everything converted smoothly at first, and the program seemed to run just fine. But then I ran into a major issue. Whenever I closed the program with the tree still open and later reopened FTM 2024, it would just get stuck while loading the tree. The screen would gray out, and I'd get the dreaded, not responding message. The only way out. Open Task Manager and force close the program. This wasn't something I experienced in FTM 2019. That version could reopen my tree without any problems at all. First, I assumed the file might be bloated, so I compacted the file, checked for errors, even uninstalled and reinstalled FTM 2024. But no matter what I tried, FTM 2024 kept freezing when opening my tree. Here's where things got interesting. I have Family Tree Maker installed on two Windows 11 machines. One is my main computer where I keep my master tree. The other is a second PC I use for experimenting with backups and updates. On both, I was upgrading from FTM 2019 to 2024. But here's the twist. Only the main computer had the freezing issue. The second computer opened the tree just fine every time. No freezing, no crashing. So what was the difference? On the second computer, I took one extra step. Before installing FTM 2024, I completely removed the old family file used by FTM 2019. Then, I went to my main computer, opened the original tree in FTM 2019, and did a fresh export. I brought that clean export over and imported it into FTM 2024 on the second computer. It loaded perfectly, every single time. So, I repeated that same process on my main computer, and guess what? It worked like a charm. Here's how you can do it too. Step 1. Open your tree in FTM 2019. Start by opening the tree in Family Tree Maker 2019, not 2024. Make sure everything is working properly. Then go to File Export. Export the tree as a new file, and be sure to check the box to include media if you want all your photos and documents transferred. Name it something new like Master Tree underscore 2024.ftm. Step 2. Install FTM 2024. If you haven't already, install Family Tree Maker 2024. You can uninstall FTM 2019 if you want a clean setup, but that part is optional. Step 3. Import the fresh tree. Open FTM 2024 and go to File Folder File Import. Select the tree you just exported from FTM 2019. FTM will now build a new version of the tree in the 2024 format, not just convert the old one in place. Step 4. Save and reopen. Once your tree is fully loaded, save and close the program, with the tree still open. Now try reopening Family Tree Maker 2024. Party popper if it works the way it did for me. The freezing issue should be completely gone. To make sure this wasn't a fluke, I tested this over 30 times. Yes, I counted. Each time, FDM 2024 reopened my tree without freezing. That same 150 megabytes file that used to cause problems now loads like a breeze. So why does this fix it? It seems that when FDM 2024 converts a tree in place, especially if it was left open during the upgrade, some underlying file references or internal links might cause the software to stall during future loads. But when you export a fresh version and import it clean into FTM 2024, you avoid any of those hidden compatibility hiccups. It's like giving your tree a fresh set of clothes tailored for 2024. 
If you're upgrading to Family Tree Maker 2024 and your tree is freezing or crashing on startup, don't panic. Try this method. Export a fresh copy from FTM 2019. Import it clean into FTM 2024. Don't rely on automatic conversion while the tree is open. It solved my problem, and I hope it solves yours too. If you found this helpful, give the video a like, subscribe for more genealogy tech tips, and leave a comment below if this method worked for you, or if you found another fix. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy researching!